Earth Depopulated, October 25th. At the coming of Christ, the wicked are blotted out from the face of the whole earth, consumed with the spirit of his mouth, and destroyed by the brightness of his glory. Christ takes his people to the city of God, and the earth is emptied of its inhabitants. Uh, Jeremiah uh, saw a glimpse of the earth. In Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 23 to 25, uh, this is what the Bible says. It says, I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form, and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they uh, trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. Understand as we consider the two words, without a form. Without form in context simply means wasteland, or in other words, a place of a chaos. A Jeremiah is a correct, a for there is only a four groups. Uh, the righteous who would be alive when Christ comes, the righteous who would be dead when Christ comes, the wicked who would be alive when Christ comes, and the wicked who would be dead when Christ comes. Uh, Jeremiah understood uh, that uh, when Christ comes, uh, the living righteous uh, uh, will be caught up to meet him in the air, as well as the dead righteous will be caught up to meet him in the air. Uh, now, the uh, wicked living who are alive will be slain with the brightness of his uh, coming. Uh, they will be dead uh, together with the uh, dead uh, uh, wicked. Uh, so understand that the earth will be a wasteland. The earth will be without form. The earth uh, will be uh, a place of uh, chaos. Now, you might be wondering how or uh, uh, which group uh, you might be in when Christ comes. Uh, once you are in Christ, you would be in one of uh, two groups. You would be either in a, a group uh, 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 with the righteous who are alive, or the group uh, with the righteous uh, who are dead. But it doesn't matter if you are in the uh, dead righteous or the living righteous, both groups will be caught up uh, to meet him in the air. Now that's the group I want to be in. How about you? Why not trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God uh, for the strength uh, so that he uh, could be in us and hence, we can be in the group of the righteous. That's the power of his word. Why not? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for what you have done in our lives. We pray, dear Lord, that you would strengthen us and may Christ be found within us uh, so that we can be in a group of the righteous. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.